Hello, Pisces. Pisces, let's see what kind of week you all are going to have. All right, Pisces. So, we know in your previous reading, we know that you all have a soulmate, you know, in your life that's going to help you to analyze things so that you don't feel like you're going crazy when you have a particular belief system about some things, right? So that's a good thing. It's always nice to, you know, walk this journey in life with someone that's going to help you to analyze some things. And a lot of times, it can be your polarity sign, right? It can help you to do your polarity sign is Virgo. And um, they can help you, but you got to make sure that they know what their moon sign is and they're pouring into themselves. So it's a lot more multi-layered than just saying a Virgo, right? You're, you're a Pisces. So y'all have to be on the same frequency, right? They have to be balanced out. You have to be balanced out. Um, and y'all have to be on that same frequency, right? Um, and so um, whatever that frequency is, right? So it can be that you're better half or you're their better half. Y'all can be half. <laughs> y'all have to be whole and complete. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. Wherever Pisces is in your birth chart, wherever Pisces is in your birth chart, make sure you know what your moon sign is as well. That's very, very important. Very, very important. This was, this is going to be a week about learning a lot of things. Knowledge, learning, um, communication, those kind of things. Um, just kind of sort of getting mentally prepared for pre-shadow Mercury retrograde. All right. So, yeah. So, it was a kind of already established, you know, your soulmate is coming into soon, to, to, coming into view very, very soon. A lot of times people say they want a soulmate, like soul tribe. But you want to make sure you all are on the same frequency. And a lot of it has to do with knowing that your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign. So, as you're learning and growing, this is going to be a week that um, you're increasing your wisdom and your knowledge of self, right? And just how your compassion is so very, very needed, you know, in this universe. And how people will prey on that, you know, just the fact that you're such a compassionate sign. And they will be obsessed with trying to keep you in a state of confusion, keep you in a state of... Because um, it feels like in the previous videos, like somebody's obsessed with keeping you in a state of confusion, burning you, um, trying to get familiar with your love life, trying to forget, get familiar with how you think, trying to get familiar with proving that you all are not as compassionate as you come across to other people, like trying to, trying to prove something about you, Pisces. So make sure you are not, you are not burned out. You are not obsessed with anything because you're dealing with some very shady energies Pisces so let's get into it let's see what your week looks like so that you can detach from some energies let's see you having a breakthrough here's the ace of swords yeah ace of swords here's the six of cups this is good here we have the nine of cups of so some water is on the way that's right I love all this water coming through love it love it love it there it is Ace of Swords, this is your break breakthrough. Maybe this video is your breakthrough of just like, because there was so much fire in your previous video, that's what you need. And this is what, here we get, here we have the Six of Cups. So the depth of water, you know, like somebody's going back to their childhood, childhood memories of looking up to people who have been roasted, you know, teased, those kind of things, by people who put them in survival mode, like maybe teased them about, money or lack thereof or um um their spiritual journey like if you have an honor uncle who may have like or honor uncle a family member who have a who had a, a, like a different religious practice than everybody else who may have been ostracized from the family if you can think of those kind of things or something about their lifestyle spiritually was different from the other the other family members that's the energy you're going to be looking up to this week how are they able to maintain um, just their composure? You know, how are they? How did they not have a nervous breakdown um, within the family? How did you not hear that they had like uh, they they weren't like in some mental institution because everybody was laughing and joking and talking about them? Oh, they go to such and such church or mosque or temple when everybody else was raised a particular way. We're talking about fire. We're talking about spirituality in action right 
So that's who you're going to be looking up to. And I see a lot of your wishes being fulfilled as a result of that. Yeah. So when you're dealing with emotionally immature spirits, source is saying to you, you got good news coming across because you learn how to save yourself. You know how to pray for them. There it is. Bam. There you go. Yeah. Here we have the star card. Yeah. So, um... And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody that you're aligning yourselves with, um, Pisces, is allowing you to let you see that when people are finding their star, meaning not celebrity, but finding their star, they run the risk of um, being ridiculed and laughed at and talked about until other people start seeing, wow, that person has purpose and they actually are... It's, it's working, you know, they're operating in purpose, right? And it's actually working. So they're inspiring so many people. They've created a life for themselves, right? So something is inspiring you to create a life for yourselves, right? And that's how it happens. Per first people, you call you crazy, you mentally ill, you know, you, you're thinking outside the box, those kind of things until you actually do it, right? You take your water somewhere else, right? So you see here, when you take your water somewhere else, you were big, you were, your sign is the I believe sign. So you just needed to add some, some structure to it. You needed to analyze, okay, how do I create a life for myself? I need to take my water somewhere else. So lay terms, it's like you're having a breakthrough and saying, how other people were able to do it was take their water somewhere else. They had to get away from energies that were roasting them, you know, with, that was drying up their creativity. They had to go somewhere else that their water could actually, they could circulate their water. Sometimes that looks like relocating. Sometimes that looks like getting away from a bunch of toxic family members. It looks like a lot of different things, leaving a toxic job leaving a toxic city, state, country, province, whatever. And so, yeah, so here we have, so some kind of a new partnership is have forming here. Some kind of new money is um, coming your way as a result of it. So as a result of it. So, yeah, that's what we're seeing here is you're inspiring more people than you realize. Like you inspire some people to heal. You're inspiring some people to heal. Yep, you are inspiring some people to heal more than you realize, Pisces. Your actions are actually speaking louder than words. And I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. A lot of people teach people in a lot of different ways they don't even realize. And this is how you're teaching people, Pisces. People are having a breakthrough because they see that you're not doing a whole lot of talking. Your action, it's like you're taking your water somewhere else. You're taking your emotions somewhere else. So that may look like you may cry about something, but then you just turn off the water supply and just reroute your, your water, like your creativity, your feelings, and you put it into something else. You know, like a person says, okay, I'm done crying about it. I'm going to put my emotion into my art. I'm going to put my emotions into a song. I'm going to put my emotion into uh, a book, you know, that kind of thing, right? That's how somebody saved themselves. Yep. Yep. Leave behind the foolishness. <laughs> yep, so leave behind the foolishness. So somebody is definitely, uh, as other people have inspired you to leave behind a circus, you're actually learning how to leave behind the circus in the, in the way that you learn how to leave behind a circus. So one person's blueprint and how they do it may be different than yours. And how you do it and somebody that you inspired may be different, you know what I'm saying, by their element. So, yeah, here we have the um, Seven of Cups here. There it is. There it is. So, you have inspired a younger person. This is a wish fulfilled for you. You have, an you have inspired a younger person, believe it or not, to leave behind the immature comments about them, to take their water somewhere else, all because you have cut ties with them. Like, all because you have said, I'm just cutting them off. Like, emotionally, I'm cutting them off. You're tired of the, the, the mental games. Like, you're tired of the mental games. About you rebuilding. Like, um, here we have the Ten of Cups. Like, they feel like they have, they, they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders, and they don't have to. 
right? So here we have the Ten of Cups. You're not carrying that bitterness on your shoulder. Y'all know what I'm saying, Pisces? It's almost like talking to a person who only likes to see you cry. Like it's almost like a, y'all know what I'm saying? Like if you're a free person, like you're a free spirited person, and every time you talk to certain people, you just feel drained. You just feel like they just, just sucked all of the water out of you. You just feel like your reservoir is just drained, like a dry land. And so you get back up and you have to pour back. You have to remember, like pour back into yourselves, right? That's where somebody's breakthrough is coming in, right? So here we have the four swords. So yeah, so you're getting your rest. And so once you get your rest and you realize, oh, okay, mind games again, that's when somebody realizes, okay, it's time to move on from something. You're not playing the mind games anymore. Yeah, there we go. Nine of Wands. You're not going back to that. You're not going back to that. So somebody's going back to building. Going back to building. There's a death card. Something is over. Something is over. So you're on the rebirth side. No more mind games. There it is. So two situations in particular. That's, that's what it is. When you look back, somebody's just tired of their mind games. Somebody's tired of their mind games or hurt people who just like to hurt people. Some people just get a great joy out of playing mind games. And you're just, somebody's just, you're just done with it. Like you have compassion for it, but you know the root of it is that somebody is confused about something. The devil is the author of confusion. They are confused about something. They are at war within themselves about something. And so let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. It could be, yeah. Yeah. They're not using some kind of wisdom about something. They don't see themselves as smart. They don't see themselves as wise. They don't see themselves as like a king. Like this right here, somebody who is very smart, very wise about themselves. They don't see themselves as like their financial situation. They don't know their worth. They don't know their um they don't know their value. They don't see themselves as having a crown. I mean like a throne in their universe. So it's like a person who compares themselves to everybody else. And obviously we know money is a form of energy, right? And if you want to gain more knowledge, go back to school. There's a lot of different ways of gaining knowledge, right? And so using it for good and not evil, right? So that's that's the um, that's the knowledge that you gain that you'll be gaining this week is just recognizing just like wow some people don't see themselves having a crown like they don't see their they don't see themselves having a throne in their universe you do so that's how you're inspiring people by <clears throat> your actions your actions are speaking louder than your words you're just saying you're just cutting ties you're not playing the mind games anymore. And just letting the chips fall where they may. It's like, you know what, you're just letting people know. You actually, I, I feel like some. this is a week that you may be telling some people, Pisces, that you actually recognize that whenever you interact with people, you actually feel drained. And you're okay with however it's, however the chips may fall. You have, en you have enough information. You don't care about whatever secrets they have or what they believe or other people telling them. You don't care. That's what you're just done. You're done. Yeah. That moon card is the I believe sign. Yeah. You're ready. You're just pouring compassion back into yourselves. So, yeah. You're pouring back into yourselves. That's the frequency that you're on. Yeah. Because when you get to the king of coins, remember it's not just about money. King of coins is about like the material possession of things. It's like a... You feel like a like a, somebody is like fixated. This connects us with fixed energy. It's like somebody is fixated on. They feel like they know secrets about something from your past, and they're fixated on a particular belief system. And just like you know, just feel like somebody's just fixated on a particular belief system. They keep bringing it up over and over and over again. And so for you, you're gonna say it just seems like that just keeps coming up over and over and over again, and it's triggering something for you. And so for you to protect your energy, it's time to go ahead and cut ties with something. So whoever this is, you cutting ties is going to send back any kind of spell work. And you're you're just you're gonna be okay with whatever. Yeah. Somebody's gonna say you making something all about you, you're gonna say, okay. That's what you want to say it as? You're okay with it. You're okay with something. You're okay with it. But you're adding um it's gonna cause them to have a tower moment. It's gonna it's gonna cause them to have a tower moment because they jump to some conclusions about some things. 
And um, like I said, they jumped to some conclusions about some things, try to put you in a wilderness situation. So she's saying to you, you're moving on from some things. Yeah. But see, in your previous reading, in your previous reading, <clears throat> remember I said your polarity sign is Virgo, this right here. You were in receiving mode of, that's what I said, some of you all, even if you don't have a Virgo in your birth, I mean, a Virgo in your um, life, that could be, let's say, for instance, you have MC or IC, that would be the opposite, right? That's your polarity sign, but even if it's like MC or IC, it would be the opposite of one or the other, right? So if you're very in tune with your birth chart, you're a very analytical person, right? So you could have analyzed something that's like, okay, somehow the conversation always comes back around to a particular belief, something, something, something about something that is traumatic for you or traumatic about some, you know, something else, right? Traumatic for them or traumatic about tra either traumatic to you or traumatic to them. But in either case, you're cutting something. You are saying you're cutting something off and it's going to send all any kind of spell work, any kind of toxicity back, it's going to hit them. Like the, the tower is going to fall on them because you are take, making some kind of adding some kind of structure and authority to something. Any, some kind of structure and authority to something. Yeah. Cause it's something about a very toxic environment that energies are in and they just keep bringing something. They just keep, like I said, and you're cutting ties. You're just cutting ties. Yep, you are cutting ties. Yeah, you are cutting ties. Maybe you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, my Knight of Pentacles here. You work too hard to keep dealing with some mess. Yeah, here we have the King of Pentacles here. You have enough information at this point. You're moving forward. You have to be dealing with clown behavior. Here we have the Two of Pentacles here. Somebody's hiding something and just keeps on putting some stuff. Just keep putting some stuff out of your head and heart is no longer at war. So this is going to be the week that somebody's going to finally just cut ties with some energy. I mean, you're going to finally cut ties. Your head and heart are not at war with each other. So, yeah. Somebody in your family, you're going to cut ties with them. And you're going to be building a new legacy. So, <clears throat> yeah. You're going to cut ties with the, the manipulation. you done. Yeah. You poured enough out. You're not pouring nothing else. And now that's what you that's what you're talking about. This right here is harvest time. You're planting some brand new seeds. The source has been trying to help you to plant some new seeds and close out some cycles. Something has been fulfilled. But source has been trying to get you to speak up about something, Pisces. But something has been trying to take you on some kind of a mental trip. So yeah, this is the week that you're gonna just cut ties with something. You're gonna cut ties with something. Permanently, you're gonna just cut ties with something. And that tower gonna fall on them, and then for them, they're gonna be like, "Oh my God, I never saw this coming." You making something all about you? It's like, yep, you can say what you want to say, because you're an open book. You're free. You're free. It wouldn't matter what people said about you. It wouldn't matter what they told people about you. None of that would matter. At this point, you have enough physical evidence of something. You have enough physical evidence of something. Somebody's trying to hide something, but you have enough physical evidence of something. So you're not trying to expose anybody, but your gifts have been increased. Check your request list for, again. Um, pray for them. You, they miss you. It's, but it's time to release the burden. You have the gift of forewarning. Back straight. Walk away. It's time to open your vault door. Your laughter is medicine. Your ancestors are very proud of you. Journal your journey. Healed people just move very differently. So you're protected by angels. Angel Raphael, the healer and protector of travelers, is with you. Somebody has a demon of pride, or they're, they've been infected by someone who has a demon of pride. And so, yeah, you have the gift of clear cognizance, that psychic knowledge about other people. You have asked source for clarity. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You see things clearly. So it's time to do a, a, clean, a clear flushing, right? This is sacral chakra cleanse. But more money is coming across your path soon. And drink more water as a form of self-care. You're dealing with a shapeshifter or could be possibly two shapeshifters here. One could be influencing another shapeshifter, right? But you were able to analyze something. So whether you actually have a Virgo in your life or you are very in tune with the Virgo in your birth chart, Pisces, this is the week that 
you're, you've learned what you needed to learn about energies who have tried to manipulate your mental health, like who have tried to manipulate it for the worst, like try to make you seem like you were crazy. And you're now in your, your spiritual gifts have actually been increased. It's like you figured out a puzzle or something, like you figure something out and now you're learning how to pour into something. So now you have room to pick up on something. So let's say for instance, y'all, I'm trying to remember what's the name. It's this thing that, um, your your memory your um your ability to retain information this week is going to be so powerful but is it's dependent upon you cutting something off that has been causing you a bunch of confusion if that makes any sense to somebody. So it's like you're reading books and now you have complete and total clarity about something. You're saying, okay, you've just cutting something off. Like you're just, somebody's tied in the mental games. And so, yeah. So yeah, you, you're going to, you've made, somebody has made a very clear, clear and concise decisions about some things. Very clear and concise decision about some things. So adjust your crown. And there's nothing people can do about it. It's absolutely nothing because you are enforcing a boundary. You're enforcing some kind of a boundary. So, yeah. There's nothing people can do about it. So, they're going to have to deal with whatever they're dealing with. 17, I am independent. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. 555, five, five, a major shift is about to come into your life and change your path to direction. Be open and stay positive. And so I am optimistic. There it is. I am optimistic. I am optimistic. I am optimistic. So work. I have the power to create the work and lifestyle of my dreams. Overwhelm is now abolished. I remove. I, I overwhelm is now abolished and removed from the work from my work today. I calmly focus on one thing at a time. I calmly focus on one thing at a time. Calmly focus on one thing at a time. So that's right. Focus on one thing at a time. You all, like I said before, Pisces, you really don't need to be overwhelmed by a bunch of people playing mind games with you all because you all are. That's how you're wired. You are a very compassionate sign. You all are psych have psychic abilities. You know things about energies. And when people are intentionally, and you're the I believe sign. So when people intentionally believe the worst about you, it throws you and it show and they show you no compassion with whatever things you've gone through, you know, in your past. They show you no compassion, even though you've shown them compassion with whatever they've gone through. You believe them when they told you stuff, this kind of stuff. So it's just saying to you. That is when, when you go through, you start sifting through water and how people are trying to manipulate you, this shark energy, trying to manipulate your emotions, call you crazy. And you've gone through this, like this journey, whether you were on medication or whatever you were doing, I don't know. And you come back to clarity and flush all of that stuff out. You are well within your right to pull out the sword and just say, you know what, in order for you to get rest, you need to go ahead and cut some energies off. Because when you look back and you realize, wow, energy is playing all these mind games. You woke up from a nightmare, you know, all of this other stuff. In order for you to get total clarity, the tower needs to fall back on them. It, it needs to. It has to fall back on them so they can say, okay, you were the one energy that was showing more compassion towards them than anybody. They could have come to you. They, You would have believed anything they told you. And you would have helped them sift through something. So, yeah, you're done with certain energies. So kudos and congratulations to you all, Pisces. Excellent job. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. I don't know who I'm talking about, but it's two energies and two types of energies in particular. They really played themselves. They really played themselves. So it's a win-win for you. So yep, a win-win outcome is forecast for you. It's a win-win both in your personal and your professional life. You just cutting it. It's two types of energy. You just cutting them off. You cut them off. They jump to conclusions about something. You would have helped them to create a life that they needed for themselves. You would have helped them to grow their money. They went right into trying to mess up your money, trying to make you look like you were crazy, all kinds of stuff. And so sources like, mm -mm, you no, know, whoever they were, they played themselves. So it's going to be a fantastic week for you all because, again, once you pull out that sword and cut the cord, I'm talking about an emotional cord cutting ceremony for you all. 
you're not looking back. I'm telling you, they're going to have to raise their frequency way up. I'm talking about full on apologies for whatever clarity, whatever, you know. Um, and I don't feel like you're trying to expose anybody. I just feel like for real, it's just like a complete, just complete, like one on one clarity. I don't feel like y'all be recording conversations. None of that's trying to expose any, and y'all not get, y'all not paying them the same energy that they would do to you all. Like you're not sitting there recording, trying to use it for later. None of that stuff. It had to be a, a fear, for real heartfelt. They apologize to you for specifically what they apologize to you for. They did not mean to hurt you this way and being like crystal clear, honest about everything that they did. So, but who knows how long that's going to take. But anyway, it don't even really matter. You're creating a life for yourself, and I see your money growing. So, like I said, that's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.